Morning girls, how are we doing? I thought we'd go for a wee bit of a flash of the past. This is an archive of one of Foodie Beauty's live streams. It is from a couple of weeks ago. It is at a Bangkok night market. Uh, this is the one where she's been filmed in the background apparently and apparently like she, she was just coming across as awkward the whole time and she ended up privating it very quickly after and then released her own edited down version of it, which I've never reacted to because why would I? Uh, I thought I would just go into this. We'd watch this together. This is on Eyelash's channel because Foodie obviously got uh, took it down. Um, she says this is a the full thing unedited everything like that so I, I guess we'll go for that uh i'm gonna link obviously to her video down below because i usually would link to foodie's video but foodie has decided to uh edit it down and remove funny parts from it and stuff like that to try and make it more picturesque for her channel so why would i link to her edited version i'll link to eyelash's version instead uh let's go into it i'm trying to get away from the music Maxi mangoes there's literally no music i can't hear anything sure it's annoyed <laughs> Hi. Oh no, it's really busy here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Why is she so awkward? Why is she so awkward? She's very clearly uncomfortable just like walking around like by herself at all. Um, I'm kind of curious like why Sella isn't here if this is one of the, the Russian sugar sugar girls uh, nights because she just seems awkward like walking down by herself like sitting there talking to all the vendors. Oh no, sorry, sorry, I don't want it. Sorry, sorry, I don't want anything. Just like you can just ignore them. You can just like walk on. Hi, Summer. Hi. Oh my god, we're losing we're losing ourselves in our chins. We're going in, boys. What do I want to eat? Snorkel up. Hi, we're Sonia. going in. Sticky's and Lolly's tangerine. Yep. So I kinda wish we had live chat because there's nothing I like more than watching her live streams with live chat on the side. Because when you have live chat on the side, you see how there's literally no one commenting. Hi! Tangerine Penny, some good snacks. We are going to eat our hearts out. Oh, I'm so That's excited. Here. Move the camera back a little bit. Yeah, sure. You might okay. even be sleeping now. Sure, okay. Cool. Andy. Hey, Asha. I, okay, let me show you guys. I don't. The food. Oh, there we go. Okay, the music. Thank God. She, she's finally realized we might not want, like, just like a panoramic widescreen view of her fucking face as she just dandles around the place. It's probably better if we can actually see what the fuck is going on here. Uh, I, I don't believe her. Like, uh, it's like you know, she's the one who was hiding inside for weeks and weeks and weeks or whatever. I don't know. Suddenly. Salah's the one who suddenly doesn't want to come out and she's like the adventurous one who just really wants to get out there. I, I don't believe it. It doesn't really make any sense. Hold on. Yep. Okay. I re Do you know what? Bro, you could have just talked over that music. I don't really think that was the biggest issue there. Like, are we seriously just... Okay. I'm just going to skip until she talks again. And we're just going to switch back here because for some reason she turned the camera back around herself. It's been like a minute of absolute silence since I stopped talking. Uh, she just turned the camera back around to herself for seemingly no real reason. And is just sitting there like either pulling faces into it or just looking awkward. And now she looks awkward again. <laughs> like, what was the I, point ap of I apologize in advance for my teeth close ups. Yeah. Because it could be whiter. No, they, they could be every other form of better. It's not just the whiter element of it. Then why show us? Why, like she had the camera facing down at the food she was buying and she was like panning around you could see the different food that this woman had and then for some reason she just turned it around to herself and just stared at the camera and like brought it up and stuck it in her fucking mouth it's like what you didn't need to do that then don't apologize for it if you know it's bad just don't do it like turn the camera back around now we don't need to see any of this shit we know what you look like because i'm gonna try to find a non-copyright turn the camera um, around They've just been stained. I ordered some things, but just oh, check this out. oh they've, uh, I can't get mad. Sorry, whoever I missed, uh, Melissa. Sorry, guys. So you having to see my teeth immediately brings us back up to this this fucking view again, where she's so close that the filters can't even really fucking catch her because she is too close to the fucking lens. Like I'm sorry, they just got stained, bro. Your teeth have been disgusting for years. Oh, Turn what? the camera around. Holy shit! There you go. My statues. Fantastic. I want to have a snack. Hello, Astro Boy. Is this copyright music? Hey, it's Astro Boy. Oh my god, she knew that too. Oh, I feel bad. Whoa, cool. Whoa, cool. This is cool. not the same without Salah. Hey, creepy. Then why go? Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay, this is like nondescript music. So we'll come here. And we'll eat this first. Sorry for the seasickness. Oh my God, look at this. Remember, this is the woman who, like, when when told, "Oh, you should get a gimbal," like, you know, so like your your camera is held steady as you walk. She's like, "Oh yeah, we do have one." Fucking, if you have to apologize for the seasickness from your camera violently rocking back and forth, you don't have one. Step. Oh. <laughs> oh. Take the whole couch okay. to yourself. Oh. Jesus Christ. 
was like fans. Yeah, oh. I, I know, thanks. Okay. I can't be on too, too long because my battery, I need my phone to order. See, this is where I, you know, two people are better than one, especially with the batteries. Okay. Hi, everybody. This is why two people, you could just bring a charger, you dildo. Like, what, what is, what the fuck? I'm sorry, it's like, you could just bring a charger. You could have just fully charged your phone before you went to it. It's like, this is why two people are better than, no, bro. You, if you just slightly planned ahead, I, I think that something happened here. I don't know if Salah appears in the chat at all during that, but this is suspicious. That she suddenly is like frantic outside filming herself going to get food so she can fucking binge and talking about like, oh, her battery and her worries about her battery. It's like, like, did you not plan this at all? It's either she's incredibly stupid and she just cannot plan anything despite being a professional streamer or something happened so much that she just left the hotel room fairly quickly. You love me? More of it is copyright. Hand upon do. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I should have got Salah one too. He would love this. I'll get another one. Vanessa, for a pleasantly plump lady. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So this is May Noi. Now, one of the most popular foods here in Thailand is mango sticky rice. Okay. It's so, mango with coconut sticky rice okay. and a sauce. Okay, let's try it. Oh, I love these oh, sauce bags. It looks like a, it looks like an omelet rice, but like obviously like mango instead of like omelet placed on top of it. I don't know how much <laughs> I like that. I'm in my glory right now, foodie glory. I'm not a fan of like sweet rice so all the time. <laughs> Unless it's like mochi, obviously. I don't know how the internet is here. Is it good? It's, I know. So I actually had a really bad headache. Uh -huh. And I've just been like really wanting to leave the hotel. What? And, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I'll show you oh. the end result. And weirdly, oh, and weirdly, those two days just like, they just matched up perfectly. The one day I want to leave the hotel and the one day he didn't want to leave. It's just so weird, guys. I should have brought some wet naps or something. I've never seen someone so excited about food. Thank you. That's your favorite? Okay, check this out. It has like some kind of sweet sauce. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. Yum, it smells good. Okay. Just f tilt your camera down a fucking little bit. Going in the hatch. Co oh, beauty bite. I, 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 she is so poor at filming this. I have, I have no idea what the fuck this is meant to look like. Put sticky rice and mango. She looks mental. Excuse me. Hi, Melissa, spooky sugar. You look mental, Jesus Christ. Salah's not in the chat. Of course Salah's not in the chat, he's all fucking Russian girls. Like, I'm sorry, this just feels like a binge. It feels like she's rushed out here to get food because she's so excited about the food compared to even like normal during her mukbangs. She actually seems like excited about the food. She is ravenous with the food. He said he fell asleep. <laughs> we, we go at our own pace. He said he fell asleep. I don't know that's how that works. <laughs> he he texts me to say I'm, I'm asleep. <laughs> like, okay, bro, sure, that's how that works. Two of us, we go at different paces sometimes, you know? Mm. There's so much food here. Anyways, guys. So this is one of the popular foods here and I have to try it before we leave Thailand. <laughs> I don't care about people staring, even like one. <laughs> the second someone says that, she's already wide-eyed glancing around. I don't care. I don't care about people staring. I don't care. We all know how it turns out that she deleted it because there are people like laughing at her in the background. Look at her. I don't care about people staring. But are, are they? Are they? And she immediately starts glancing around in the fucking, uh, the unbearable fucking cringe. This is the weird thing she has. And I just don't get why people just can't be honest about themselves. It's just like, yes, she feels uncomfortable in public. It's, 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 it's blatant. It's obvious to everyone who watches it's so weird that she is like nope no i'm not no i'm not no i'm not i refuse to go out I, you know at any time when there might be people around i, I came all the way out here claiming it's because of copyright music none of the music i heard playing in the background there sounded like it was copyrighted music and even so it was so quiet and if she was continuously talking it really wouldn't make that big a difference i see in real life streamers going all over the place constantly and very few of them seem to have to worry about, about copyrighted music so this just seems like a massive fucking cope from her so I, I i just don't buy it she came all the way out here to the, the deserted area just so she's away from people it's clear her scent yep see heck if you want to stare go for it do you know how many people stare at me every day loads probably because you're like fucking this you, you, you which you probably should fix because you're very clearly put off by it all I'm going to say is, because like, I had a jump cut there, all I'm going to say is it's so obviously the fact that her, because the second someone mentioned, like I said, she's glancing around. She's still, like, glancing around here. She has taken, like, three continuous mouthfuls, like, oh, 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 like, just shoving as much into her mouth as humanly 
possible without saying a single word. Because the second someone reminds her that people are out here looking at her, she's obviously immediately gone trigger and she is trying to self-soothe by eating as much food as possible. Freya, it's so good, eh? Eh? Cheers, Bob Golden Girl. Hi, guys. See that? This is what I said. It's like, I love always pointing this out because it's, it's, it's her her peak fakeness. Because obviously we know she doesn't like anyone. She doesn't even like her own animals. So why the fuck is she going to like anyone? You know, she 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 like routinely will turn on people. She will like dox people. She will go after people. She doesn't give a fuck when she finds out her beasts were being docked by like the the Marty um, fan base. Like she she just didn't give a shit. She just didn't give a shit and pretty much told them, well. Well, guys, you know, oh, whoopsie. She didn't stop, like, antagonizing Marty or anything. Because like she doesn't give a shit. But when they come, they're like, oh, my God, hey! Like, she's, like, the most excited person in the entire world from the existence. Like, bro, you don't give a fuck about them. Stop it. It's so weird. I'm in public. Yeah. Alone. It's scary. It is, because I'm not used to it now. I feel like I should be at the hotel nursing salon. Well, I did before I left. Like, I don't mean literally nursing, but you know what I mean. Okay. This mango, I gotta use my hands. Hey there guys, out of the fact Irishman here, just quickly jumping in to say, I'm just going on screen, just like a montage of every time she takes a bite so far in this entire thing, she is like rapidly like glancing around the place because she is like terrified people are looking at her. So this whole thing where she's not put off by people watching her is just so weird because like, every time she takes a bite, she is desperately looking around to see if anyone was watching her do it. I can't obviously show you a lot of these bites, um, so I guess just take my word for it. It's, it's what she looks like and it's pretty fucking gross. Okay, let's. I, I don't want to use too much of my battery. It took me forever to find a ride. You're gonna keep saying that. And, um, I'm gonna get some... I gotta bring him back something, yeah. No shit. Sorry for the microphone noise. Is it really strong? No. I didn't bring any tissue because I'm an idiot like that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's almost like you weren't prepared for this, like, whatsoever. When every other time you see her, they have, like, fucking plastic sheets and wet wipes and tissues and everything you got. And here she has literally nothing whatsoever. And I also... Some of this stuff. And also her claim that it took her forever to get a ride. It still has microbeads, and the microbeads have been discontinued long ago. Okay, I'm gonna. She claims that it took her ages to get a ride, which doesn't make sense because if you're leaving the hotel on like a planned trip, you wouldn't like go outside and be sitting there or walking around trying to find a ride. You would arrange one just immediately, and then wait, and then it would arrive, and then you go out to it. You know, so it would, it's it doesn't really make sense to me. I'm gonna go find garbage. Oh, time massage. And somewhere we're gonna Let's try go. some more stuff. Yeah, I I, I know it's okay. you. Constant eye contact. Yeah, Rosie, I know. You guys are not used to me being alone, huh? They don't have put in here. Let we are. Know. Like, very alone. Um, I don't think they do. Look at her fucking desperate expression as she fucking looks around the place. Like, like I said, okay, she she's not used to being alone apparently anymore because obviously it's all, but we are very much used to her being alone. Like, all of her mukbangs are alone. She spends 80% of the time alone sitting there by herself, you know, during her, her, her videos on her main channel, even when she was in Kiwi, because Sala always seemed to be out, and no one really seemed to know why he was always out. You know, it seemed a wee bit suspicious. We're used to her being by herself. Out in public, obviously not, but that's because she has the whole, like, I must be a good wife and obediently follow my husband around kind of stick going on. But I want to get out of here. <laughs> okay. That guy's like noticed. So where, where there's copyright music, I'll probably just get. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't worry about it. I didn't think about yeah, that. You shouldn't worry about it. I don't feel like doing a video by myself. Where's my thing? What? Because I just. I don't know. It's not the same energy. Okay, I need to eat somewhere. I what I negative? Like it, it's not the same energy. Like she says that. Like Salah adds anything to these fucking videos. Like, like I don't know. Maybe like her doing a video by herself would probably be better for her because it actually forces her to actually do stuff. Because she seems to just let Salah do a lot of the talking, which doesn't improve the video in any way because Salah is a terrible speaker. I have Pattaya again. Yeah. Otter leave. It's just so ugh. Oh, she's picking her teeth. I love I love about six picks in, she's suddenly oh shit and ducks her chin very slightly so she can pick off camera once. That's like bro, it's already too late. Am I not eating stuff? Hi teardrop! I'm good, yeah, I'm good. When are you not Salah eating has stuff? a for those of you who are just in here. Salah has a um She's so dishonest, look at her egg. Look at her. Look at she's so dishonest. The second she's asked about it, she's like glancing around and shuffling. Ah, he's, uh, uh, he's, uh, 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 he's, oh my God. Okay, could you just, he, he's all fucking the Russian girls. It's absolutely fine. Just, just let us know. We'll accept it. I think it was like, he was intolerant to something he ate. I don't know. Where do you get a headache but from that? He couldn't come out. Like, there's no way. Sure. It's all over there. So. Turn your camera around. Let's just explore a bit. We don't want to see this. I like, I need to go out. Yeah, sure. I believe you. You know, like. Oh my god, 100% he's fucking someone in their hotel room. That's why. 
She wa- I want to go out. I need it to go out. She, he's fucking someone in their hotel room. That's why. That's why. Okay. I get it now. Okay. Chantal was jealous because he's fucking someone in the hotel room. And that's why. Because like, why else would she suddenly like, I, I desperately needed to go out by myself late at night to some random night market for no fucking reason. When I've been like holed up defending my little fucking couch for like the past two weeks at this point. When you feel like you just have, oh, this is going to be fun. Watch this. Yeah, I would rather. Oh, See, around. if someone was here, he would help me down on the stoop. It's a step. <laughs> Look how high it is. It's a For step. Like me, that's high. It's like six giant, inches, bro. The stool is very that's high. That's depressing. Up, so no thanks. <laughs> I want to see what kind of it's so weird when she's walking around you see all these people in the background and it's like out of all of them the only one i could say that you kind of closely resemble in sheer size was that dude plus his fucking moped over there seems like this candy oh my gosh oh durian okay yep. we have to come back for durian do we <laughs> we've seen it already find something new so cute yes it's astro boy yeah okay i just love how like ignorant she is just watch this this person is like sitting here. They, they seem to be looking at it. Maybe they're getting ready to take a picture of Astro Boy or something like that. But they're sitting there directly facing it. Instead of walking around <laughs> right behind them, she just so cuts cute. between the two of them. <laughs> okay. I never like try and cut in front of someone. When it's only like better just walk around behind them. Like it's weird to like cut close in front of someone, especially if they're standing facing something. It just I don't know. My natural instinct is like, oh, maybe they're gonna take a picture of it. Maybe they're looking at it. Maybe she's searching something up on her phone because she wanted to. I just wouldn't cut in front of her when the option was also cut behind her. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just find oh something god. new to eat. That's ice cream. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Is that cat like ice cream? Does that look like a cat? Does that mean you can abuse that, that that cat ice cream without any ridicule? Oh my god, she finally she's finally found fucking mecca. I want one. Yeah, I know you do. Should I get one? Yeah, I know Maybe. you. We're want just looking one. for now. That bitch wants to kill that cat. <laughs> no, messy girl's at home. I forgot it because I don't want to lose it. Let's see. What was it? What was that? It's at home. I didn't want to lose it. Oh, but did she not have her wedding ring on? I'm assuming she didn't have her wedding ring on, which I, I she probably took off and fucking threw across the room when the Russian girl showed up at the front door. This is very, very, very fucking suspicious. No wonder she took us out. Looks like a club or something, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is this garbage? Half, half these stalls seem like closed and shit like that. I mean, like she does seem to, I, I want to know what time of night she was out at because it was a live stream. So obviously people would be able to work out what time of night it was because like a lot of these places seem closed and it's also pretty deserted. No, so it's pretty I after dinner. Smiling, they're all smiley. And they yes, all say hi. Sure. So they're smiley because they're like, oh my god, the fuck is that? That's why they're smiley, bro. They're not. They're not nice. They don't care about you or anything like that. Do people act like you never saw someone be nice to a fat person. Look at these shrimps. No one should be. <laughs> okay, what's? No one should be. Also, they're 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 working at a stall. They, yeah, they're gonna smile at you because they're like, hi there, buy my shit. Look at the size of you. You can probably buy three people's worth. That's why. I'm sorry. She is so fucking triggered by this. It's She's the one who always fucking talks like this. And if she doesn't seem to just realize, it just makes her look even more self-conscious. Bro, yes, they're smiling at you because they work at a stall because you're a big fat person. They want to sell food to you. It's, it's, it's economics, bro. It's just how it works. You're the one yourself who tried to excuse that woman saying you eat too much. Saying, oh, well, it is their culture. You know, like, they're, you know, they, they don't really see fat people like me about, yes, which is true. They, they aren't looking at you being like, oh, she's a beautiful, lovely lady. They're looking at you like, oh, you're a big fat lady, but you can buy my food. So smile, please buy my food. What are they serving here? Maybe we can eat something here. Beef grill. Oh, no, it's beef ribs. Yep. Or do you want to try? I want you to eat. Vegetables? No, I want you to eat. It's their menu? Oh my god. Bro. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, I just want you to eat something new. That's all I'm really interested in. It's something new. I want to see something new from you. Uh, uh, she has no idea what she's looking at. Uh, I don't blame her. Uh, oh, crab, yum. It smells like durian. You guys. Yeah. The seed is... I'm just gonna. I've skipped a bunch of that. Where she pretty much just gets like strong armed. Like she walks over to look at the menu of this place, and someone like I like stabbing her like rushes out and immediately starts trying to talk her through the to the menu. And she's like, oh, 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 I'll take this and this. And, like she just got strong armed into like eating here. Just like 
instantly. <laughs> it was quite funny because she's just she's such a weak person. Like especially when it's face to face. Like oh, online, she's a big baller. She'll fucking shout at you. Swear she's gonna she's gonna beat you up. She's gonna have you arrested. She's gonna put you in jail herself personally for a billion billion years. But the second it's face to face, she is like oh yeah, well done. I think I'm Hi, please. I was like, okay, bro. It's really fucking crazy. And then she just got shoved because she didn't want to obviously be near anyone. But they just like, I mean, they pointed at a chair. I think she probably thought she could take it away and like fuck off back to that like deserted place you could go to. They just made her sit down here. It's so funny. So small. Yeah. Because she's even uncomfortable in the chair because it is a small okay. chair. So anytime, if you're in a relationship, oh my anytime, god, here we go. That you're not with your husband. This, this, okay, this fucking woman is about to tell us what it's like to be in a relationship. The woman who hasn't like seemingly been like a genuine relationship ever. Honest to God, I would still believe she's a virgin. Like if if it wasn't for the, I think Natter probably is the only guy who's ever fucked her, which is why she's so fucking obsessed with Natter. BB didn't seem to like even like her or talk to her during any of the videos I've ever seen of them together. Pete's just fucking Pete. Natter, would you call that a real relationship? He didn't even say she was his girlfriend. And then what? This? Okay, bro. When you're in a real relationship, guys. Okay, guys. Fucking buckle up. Even at work, because technically I'm at work right now. Yeah, you're sure. Okay. Right? Or you're trouble in paradise. You don't realize how, I only sing it out loud oh because it sounds stupid. Look at my foundation. Oh my god, she's raging because people pointed out it's like, oh, Sal is not their trouble in paradise. Yeah, like, <laughs> guys, I'm actually out uh, working right now. Okay, bro. Like, every other video of you, quote unquote, working recently has been you with Sal. So this is actually, even with you working, is a change to the fucking norm, bro. When you're in a real relationship. Okay, bro. Fucking sit down. Okay. My butt hurts. Yeah. But I think we're gonna be okay. Yeah, because you're in a tiny seat. You need to have okay. two of those stools pulled Hello. together. Hello. Oh, I already ordered. I ordered, yeah. <laughs> um, oh my god, they're gonna convince her to order. I really hope they convince her to order more. She is so awkward when talking to people. It's great. Oh, um, okay, sure. To, to go. Oh my uh, god, go. they convince her to fucking order more food. Oh no, that's hilarious. Oh. Yeah. Uh, to bring home the mango sticky rice to bring home. I already ordered some pad thai before. Here. Thank oh my you. god. <laughs> That's so good. My fan. What is the fuck? She's great. She's a fucking boss. My makeup is coming off. Is there Can any I makeup on? Together? No, because then I would have to like sit on them perfectly. <laughs> well, no, you don't have to sit on them perfectly. You just have one ass cheek on the other. Don't try and pretend that you're wide enough to sit on both of those fucking seats. I'm not with my hubby 24 7 either, it's fine. But yeah, I mean, please, we, we have not been apart since we've been together. Uh -huh, he has a sure. headache, I want to go out, and I'm an adult, so I'm figuring. Normally I wouldn't do it, so I'm actually like, yeah, proud okay. of myself that I'm. I, I prefer to be with him, I feel kind of like. I'm proud of myself that I can leave the hotel room. I don't ha I'm proud of myself that for, apparently for the first time, I'm not with my, with my husband 24 7. Firstly, that's depressing as shit. If someone ever said that to me, I'd be like, bro, get some help. Or maybe you guys should separate, because that is an unhealthy relationship. If you are proud of yourself, that for once you are able to not be like literally side by side with them, even though she's like by herself loads of times with them. It's just the difference is that she's actually ventured out of the room because obviously he's fucking the, the Russian girl on the bed right now. You know, I'm glad I have you guys actually, or I probably would have come. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Why wouldn't you? No I was so embarrassing. I need to be live streaming because I need to have constant reassurance. Because if not, I literally couldn't. I literally couldn't even leave my hotel room. Oh, I'd be embarrassed. Hey, I'm gonna keep this here while I eat. My yeah, fan, where is it? I don't like you. You gonna eat your fan? Spaces. Hi, Rashu. There we go. <laughs> and they have these cute little um, napkins. Yeah. Okay. See, most oh. people would like set the camera. Like, I realize she is like twice as wide as a normal person. So, like, a normal person would look smaller and it would look better on the screen. Most people would have the camera quite a bit further back. So, you can see the food you're eating whilst they're eating it. I don't like bringing up the Rion guy, the Rion uh, guy who walks around Japan and does travel vlog. Like, he often, during every single one of his travel vlogs, he will stop and get food at least once somewhere. And he'll sit there and he'll eat it. And he'll describe what the food tastes like. And he'll talk about the food. Sometimes it's weird food. Sometimes it's like really standard food. Uh, he he films it perfectly. Everything looks great. Her, she's just, she, I don't know. It, it's just bringing it up to the camera. Like trying to squash herself into the fucking screen. So she can just shovel it into her fucking maw. Oh my gosh, there's a dog here. It's so cute. Oh, are you going to go abuse it? Oh, Hi. don't film it. Leave the oh, dog alone. You. You're bad with animals. Uh, you're going to hear me say that a lot. 
What, hi? Yeah, I know. That's a real she didn't. She didn't like that. Did she say that's a real pineapple? Wow. Whoa. That's a real pineapple. She said pineapple. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a coconut, bro. Like, I'm thick as shit and I even know that. And she already dribbled down herself. How do you manage that? You had one sip. Oh, that's what I'm drinking from, a pineapple. It's a coconut. I don't know if I want to show you the doggy. She's so awkward right now. The, the, her one skill at life, identifying food, has somehow fucked off away from her. Don't turn the like camera around. Dog and they're looking at me. Yeah. I'm soaking wet. I'm dirty. Obviously. I'm just coming here for some treats. Just leave the dog alone. And then I think I'm going to um, look for look around a bit more. Look for some treats. To bring. Oh, I'm bringing him a mango sticky rice. Oh, wow. And I'm gonna look for one more treat, and then I'm gonna. She's so awkward. Most people would have like a clear idea. Because if you're just like, I just want to go out. Most people are like, yeah, I'm just going to go out. I'm just going to dander around until, I, until I'm sick of dander around. Then I'll go back. That's why most people would react to this. Not, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to get this. I'm, I'll film a bit and I'll, I'm, I might get another, a treat. I don't, you know, I'm, you know, like it's, it, this isn't like a complex question. You know, if you have a set schedule, like a set itinerary that you're going to do, it is easy to say what the itinerary is. If not, and you're just out because you just want to be out, you're just like, oh, you know, I'm just out. I'm just going to have we walk around. That's it. That's all you need to say. The only thing, I know there's so many people here, I know. No, there's not. There's like 10 okay. people back there. That's it. Do I feel nervous? No. Yeah. You obviously do. You're glancing around fucking constantly going, yeah, there's so, there's so many people around here. No, there's literally not. There's not that many people here. I'm sorry, like, I, what would this woman be like if she went to, like, an Irish fucking pub? Like, I've been, like, in an Irish fucking pub, shoulder to shoulder, like, fucking 200 people in fucking sight, and it's enough room for 50. And there's people trying to, like, fucking, like, river dance in the fucking middle of it. They're actually professional river dancers in the fucking middle of it. And they are, like, literally face to face with you as they're fucking doing it. I don't know how the fuck she would cope with that. Like, generally, she would have a fucking meltdown. This is, like, 10 people, bro. I'm alone. I'm with you guys. But if I, if I, if I'm not I, alone. I I'm with you guys. Like, oh, no. Can you guys hear me okay with my microphone? Yeah, I think we can. I feel like, um... Oh, my God. She's so, she's a, no, keep it here. Uh, immediately, she's now fucking anxious and self-conscious again. It seems like anytime people bring up, like, her being anxious, and she's like, no, no, I'm not. She immediately starts fettering with something. Be it the last time when she starts rapidly shoveling food into her mouth, or this time she immediately starts fettering with the fucking mouth. She has to, like, futter with something. The second someone says, oh, are you nervous? Are you anxious? She says, no, no, no. And then she immediately has to self-soothe. To go, please. I'm gonna get one to go for Salah. Such beautiful beaches. Thank you, creepy. Sorry if I missed your comments. Wishing Salah well. Yeah, I don't know. We had um, some fish earlier today. Like pretty spicy fish. He's not used to it. So, um, yeah, he was supposed to come with me, but show us beautiful beaches. There's no beaches in Bangkok. Or I don't think that's Bangkok. No. I can show you beautiful beaches in Kuwait. <clears throat> the dog looks like. Can, can you show us some beautiful beaches in Kuwait? You haven't been able to this entire time, so I'm not trusting your ability to show us actual beautiful beaches at all. Buster. Okay, I'll show you the dog. No. Uh, no, you're not going to show us the dog. Fuck off. Stop being a fucking weirdo. You're bad with animals. Stop fucking going to your animals. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's just like, I don't know. Hi, Jasmine. I'm just eating. That's not that many people. Why would you turn the camera? I'm not sure if she turned the camera around again by mistake. She showed us the dog, obviously. And then she was putting it around, put it back on herself, while trying to reposit, put it down, and then suddenly it snapped there and then turned back to her. So I'm assuming she did that by accident. There's not actually that many people there. Like, I, like, I maybe, you know, because it's only like, you know, there's less than 10 people back here now. Okay, maybe there's a bunch in front of her. Nope, there's not. There's like five people. We have to be homesick. Yeah, a little, a little bit, but we're honestly like having a pretty good time. Are you? You know, it's just temporary and it's not like we're gonna live here forever, knock on wood. <laughs> I hope not, imagine for some reason you couldn't leave or something like that. <laughs> I think she let that slip because immediately just like she sinks, she sinks down and she starts glancing around again. Oh my God, well, we, to be fair, we know she obviously made it back to QA, whatever visa issue she had has somehow been resolved. It's really nice to just watch people live how they live and stuff, you know what I mean? Is it? You hate crowds, you hate but people. Yeah, I just wanna go home to her. Okay, the snail secretions, but Thailand is not just beaches, Yellow Moon. That's only a fraction. And we, like, we're in the city, so you're gonna have to see Bangkok, you know? <laughs> but maybe other people went on vacation. Well, no, no, like, okay. Someone asked her to see, to see the beaches earlier on. That's when the q beach thing came. And they obviously, and she's like, oh, there's no beaches in Bangkok. And then people obviously point out that there are loads of beaches in Thailand. And she's like, well, there's none here, you know? It's like, yeah, that means, can you travel? 
like you can leave Bangkok. You are aware of that. You can actually like leave Bangkok. It's not like you're really like using Bangkok to its fullest. It's not like you're really doing anything in Bangkok. You know, it might actually just be a good idea for her to have left Bangkok. Like I know she went to Pattaya, but she could have also just left to go somewhere else to film beaches or something like that. Because you know, why not? There's a lot of there's a lot of room for you to do that. And the beach areas. I don't, I'm not fond of beaches. I don't swim. I don't like walking in sand. I don't like getting dirty that way. She she loved Cuba. She loved the beaches on Cuba. Um, she loved the beaches on Cuba. She keeps showing the beaches on Q8 over and over and over again. And now when someone says, hey, why don't you show us a Thai, a Thai beach, which would take her like a bit of effort to get to. She's like, oh no, I don't even like beaches. It's like, fuck, okay, bro. You know. Oh, you show us his beaches. Yeah, I'm having fun in the city here. It's just everything is there's so many nightclubs. Are you? I love food. <laughs> yeah, no. Hi, Naomi. But are you having fun in the night? How long are we gonna have to stay? Um, well, we planned on a longer trip. Yeah, noticeable. <laughs> we can leave Thailand anytime we want to. Sure. I can't wait to to see Julian Howie and Canada. Cool. That is so funny because like oh, towards the end she clearly just didn't want to be there. Like even at this point, I think she clearly doesn't want to fucking be there anymore. But for some reason, they kept staying like another week, another week and a half, another two weeks. She she just obviously was over. She even said herself that she is over it. And she wanted Salah to back her up and Salah wouldn't back her up because Salah was still enjoying himself. Yeah, there's a lot of countries that are cool though. I don't know. I'm loving traveling and I want to keep doing it, inshallah. Look at migraines when a thunderstorm is coming. Oh, maybe Kate. There, there's thunderstorms every day. And this is like, he had a small headache too the other day. Oh. Well, cheesy girl, I was swimming then. You know, I liked swimming then, and I only pretty much stayed in this more shallow area. But I only went to the beach even there a handful of times. You know. Wow, look at this veggies. I've been craving these. What are these? I think they're garlic stems. Yum. I've been craving veggies. You can keep telling me that. I will never fucking believe you. Oh my gosh, it smells like stir-fried, garlicky, yummy, delicious. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> hungry for good freaking food. This is a this is heaven on earth for me right now. We're not trapped in Thailand. This is why I don't tell you guys how long I'm staying or what we're doing. <laughs> no, that, that, that is why you don't tell people. Is because you're like trapped in Thailand. Because you want to keep it vague. Because if you said to people, oh yeah, we're here for two weeks. And then you were there for three weeks. People are like, why are you there for three weeks? Like the fact is, like, oh, we're going uh, at, at some point. Uh, and then start talking about how you want to go home. How you're homesick. How you're so over Thailand but can't leave. That's why people start to think. Oh, she is actually trapped in Thailand because of your weird vagueness. And then you contradicting yourself and saying, we can leave at any time. And then a week, a week later being like, oh, I hate it here. <laughs> well, someone got bogged. Maxillion, hi, Marhaba. Sorry, guys, I missed you. I don't mean to miss you. I'm just eating. Um, I miss Salah. <laughs> I miss Babe. It's not the same without him. I didn't come too far. I just went to a night market. I wanted to give you some. You guys were asking. Take us out somewhere. And you can't be out when you have a migraine like Salah has. Oh, babe. <laughs> We've changed from being just a headache to now a full-blown migraine. We miss you. Oh, so Sal is finally messaging Chad. Took him 20 minutes. Yeah, but probably about enough time for the Russian girl. Like, she's probably in the shower right now. Okay. I'm not going to be too late because I didn't think of that, but my battery. I didn't think about it. You're a professional, like, vlogger slash live streamer. And you didn't think about your battery life on your... Okay, sure. Okay. I love the second, like, Sal appears in chat. Say, yeah, I'm not going to be long. I'm going to be back soon. Because, like, that, that, that's clear indication that he's finished. The, the, the girl's done. She's in the shower. She's getting her taxi or whatever the fuck. Now she's like, oh, I'm, don't worry. I won't be long. Oh, no, because she's happy she got his attention again. It's kind of like Natter. You know, like, Natter would routinely would just, like, live with Dee Dee. Or would, like, constantly, like, go with Dee Dee over her over and over again. But the second he gave her any form of attention. Yes, I got picked. He he picked me over that other woman and that was immediately just like fill her dopamine levels up to fucking max so this is some kind of green tubey things this is some kind of green tubey things yeah i uh, do you know what i feel like i'm there <laughs> oh i should have said it's the only tubey thing you've had in your mouth oh 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 well, the russian sugar girl has a tubey thing in her mouth right now oh next time guys next time Glancing around nervously. Thank you. Do you want some? <clears throat> Yummy. Oh, we're gonna get to sit here and see her eat. Can't wait. <laughs> you're home. I'm bringing you home a treat, babe. Just something small, but you'll like it. His dick. <laughs> Yo. It is 9 p.m. 
Okay, we have Jesus sugar. Christ. I'm putting Imagine you sitting there. You know, like obviously obviously it's not because your 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 fake husband is fucking some Russian sugar girls in your fucking room or anything like that. It's just like nine PM. Yeah, do you know what? I just wanna just suddenly leave the the, the hotel room for no apparent reason and go on a trip. Everything on it. I'm freaking out. Oh, okay. Let's try this. No wonder it's busy empty oh as well. It was just spicy food. She's so fucking annoyed. Oh my god. You always see her like pick out a comment that she hears and you see like her brain try and process it first and then just the anger start building and building and building. Relax. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are awesome. Well, do you know what? Some people would say the sex is quite spicy. Some thanks here, Drop. Hope you're well, honey. Sorry, guys. I don't have any. It's bugging me. You don't have any napkins? You literally just showed the napkin box earlier on. Oops. Sorry. You just oh gosh, showed the napkin box. Are you stupid? Tofu, nuts, egg, onion. So you nuts she's had in her mouth all trip. <laughs> hey. Shrimp here. I love her back to like her eating like fucking shrimp pad thai again. Because as I was saying, when you're out, just like, especially if you're a travel vlogger, show us different types of food. Go around, explore, show us different types of food. Yeah, when you're off screen, okay, if you find a meal that you really like, I fucking think one of my brothers, he fucking found like a butter miso ramen when he was in Japan. And he, he had it like, I don't know, like I think we we're there for like near three weeks. I think he had it like... 10 times or something like that. He fucking loved it. But he even like that, he ate lots of other different things. We're already repeating meals here. It's like, bro, on camera, everything should be different. Give us a proper range of different types of food. And it shouldn't be pizza, Burger King there, KFC there. It shouldn't be that kind of shit that she was doing. It should be like this kind of shit. Go to the market and just find something else. Be like, Don't, I'll try that. Might not be that good, but fuck it, I'll try. Because that's how most people do. Most people can just like try it in food. Was her, she is obsessed with food. She can't pick a food that she might not like because she needs to be able to eat it. And also she's broke, so she can't like afford to like cycle through foods because most people like try and eat it. Oh, I'm not really fussing that. Oh, whatever. You know, I'll, I'll, what I've eaten, that'll do me for the night. She can't do that. She has to have at least two full fucking meals. Look at the shrimp. She really is like a child when she picked up the shrimp. Goes look at this shrimp because it just is her. Like she, like she thinks we're as excited about food as she is because like food is like obviously just like pouring to her. Like it's just like, look, look at this shrimp. It's like yeah, bro, it's it's a shrimp. I I remember when you did that with the last shrimp pad thai you had. Babe, I wish you were here to eat. I wish you were here with me instead of with Ivanka. I'm thinking of you while I'm here. I miss you. Fucking Ivanka. That's a big shrimp. <laughs> yeah. Hi, boo -boo -boo -boo. I love bean sprouts. She actually like has noticeably perked up now that Sal is here. Now that Sal is like giving her any form of attention, she has noticeably fucking perked up. Oh, she's annoyed I'm again. She's annoyed again. Thanks, teardrop. It's a bit hard. That's challenging for people like us with anxiety, you know. Bro, you don't have anxiety. You don't have anxiety when you're walking around semi-naked, when you're dropping the camera and getting upskirt shots and going, hee ha ha and loving it and enjoying it. You, you don't. I would actually describe you as more of like an exhibitionist than anything else. If Nader would have agreed to fuck her in public, on camera, on live stream, she would have 100% accepted it. She is not a, an anxious person. Oh, I'm so nervous or anything like that. It's, you're ashamed. You're out there and you're worried about people looking at you. You, you aren't like, like socially anxious because you're out there like, talking to like a couple hundred people probably online you're not an anxious person bro smooth are you guys staying at the same hotel mm -mm. no we've switched a few times mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if that's what they're asking i think they're probably wondering are you and salah like staying at the same hotel <laughs> like is he in one hotel and you're in a different hotel i think that's probably what they're going for one when we first got here then like a few, couple other ones Pad Thai, yum. So good. I love the idea that they're just like moving between hotels because they're desperately, desperately trying to keep ahead of people talking to them. And it's just like, bro, imagine having to live your life like that. Most people would just like, 
not film inside the hotel but like that's that most people can have that luxury most people can have the luxury when they're travel vlogging to not film within the side the, within the hotel like and if they do they're filming the hotel to show this is what the hotel room looks like here's the amenities here's what you get here oh you get these this for breakfast every morning that kind of stuff but she hasn't done anything like that with the hotel because she's not showing off the hotels whatsoever because they're seemingly a quite cheap shitty hotels from what she's little she's shown us but like okay fine you're not showing off the hotel then don't film inside the hotel. But she can't do it because she has, like, made herself stay in the hotel for, like, weeks and weeks and weeks on end. So she had to film all of her content inside the hotel. Can I trash you? There are a lot of people here. No, there's but not. Actually, like, in my zone of food to care. You you keep mentioning it. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, so many people. But I don't care. I'm in my zone. Glance, 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 glance. Binge eat instantly. Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? You're obviously self-conscious. You weren't feeling well, babe. Did people talk to you? Just like people trying to sell things. What? Why is she not asking about like people talking to sales? Like what people talking to? It's like what? In the hotel room? Did someone break into his hotel room trying to sell him a fucking hat or something like that? What the fuck are you talking about? That's a, that's a weird slip. I haven't really talked to any random people. <laughs> I know, messy. I'm not a good non-messy eater. <laughs> the guy in the back. Oh, she noticed. She noticed him laughing whilst looking at her. Oh, immediately her fucking face. She, remember, this is the woman who doesn't care. She doesn't care, guys. What are you talking about? That guy fucking laughs at her. She immediately pulls a face. <laughs> I love that guy. I'm gonna get you some bananas here, babe. Banana pancake. They're so good. Have you ever considered table table manners? Yeah, have you? Um, yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I love she's like, it took the long pause because she was very clearly trying to think of like a comeback and she just had fucking nothing. She just had fucking nothing because her whole thing is like, I'm a dainty, cute, lovely, amazing housewife Muslim lady. And she's like, oh, smearing food all over herself. So it doesn't fit the image whatsoever and she just can't, she can't come back. She's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, my phone is 68. We're good for now. When it gets to 30. I love she's at like, she, whenever she must have said that, she must be at least 70% like in charge. And she's like, I'm gonna be on, cause my battery, oh, the battery, the battery. It's like, bro, you're on 70%. Holy shit, that should last you fucking ages. Like ages. You shouldn't be worrying about your battery running out when you're in like 70 or 68% on a modern phone. Anxiously glancing around the place, wondering who's fucking looking at her. I wanna log off so I can get a taxi and come home. <laughs> I, I doubt it drops 30% in the next 20 minutes. She is just spraying fucking goof all over her. Holy shit. Look at this shit. Black billion. Look at this. You read my mind. Jesus Christ. You're funny. <laughs> it's true though. <laughs> well, the thing is my anxiety. Oh my god, I've seen, uh, I've seen this. Oh my god, this is the second she mentions my anxiety. And I meet this woman creeps forward to take a picture of her because these people are all fucking staring at her and talking about it's her. It's not stemmed from being self-conscious. <laughs> it's not a self-conscious, so that's why I don't have anxiety. Are you sure about that? I fucking John Cena, are you sure about that? Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Look at a fucking person's having the greatest end of their fucking life. They're making her famous in fucking Thailand. Obviously, she, I'm sorry, how many times has she cut out, like, her, her climbing into the boat or her climbing into the tuk-tuk or whatever the fuck it is? Um, she's, um, she's, she's obviously very anxious about her body shape. It's why I think she wears, like, like clothing that, like, sucks her in as much as possible. Because she is anxious about her body shape. Like, she can lie as much as she fucking wants, but she doesn't think she's big and beautiful. It's why she keeps, like, starting diets and quitting diets over and over and over again. If you loved your body and you thought you were big and beautiful and you didn't need to fix anything... You wouldn't constantly be like, I'm on a diet today. I'm starting the gym today. I'm doing this today. If you actually thought it, you wouldn't be changing yourself. I about eating in public. And the thing I don't like about public is just oh too many people. I don't know the excitement, the noise. But I'm okay right now. What? I don't like the excitement and the noise. Firstly, it's not overly loud, like, fucking whatsoever. I was like, it doesn't that add? Isn't that what people call 
atmosphere. Like, how many people? Like, cause she, she's the type of person, okay? Remember, she's, like, doing this whole lie thing now with the Terms of Service, where she's trying to, like, make sure she doesn't get fucking yeeted off YouTube in the next Terms of Service change that's meant to be coming in, like, November time. Where she's like, oh, well, actually, mine's a social thing, guys. My mukbanging, it's a social thing. It's not me monetizing my binge eating disorder or anything. Like, there are many fans who have approached me and said that they often, when they're alone in the house, turn on me eating and they eat along with me as a form of social bonding and it's like that's yeah so why is your idea of social bonding well of of eating like apparently like sitting alone in your fucking living room if you think social bonding through eating is fine like that that's why people like this this is atmosphere why is your idea of atmosphere sitting by yourself in your fucking hotel room it's okay i actually realize that mm. someone took a picture of me yes get fucked oh Oh my god, she's so annoyed immediately. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, her fucking everything is really song. I can't wait for three more fucking mouthfuls of food to go in here and she tries to comfort herself. Like, well, uh, the woman's just standing back there. Foodie, turn around and confront her. Go, go and confront her because she's such a big fucking baller. Hey there guys, after the fact Irishman here, just quickly jumping in to say, Foodie Beauty had originally deleted this off her channel and said it was because of copyright issues because of the music playing in the background. As you guys have probably been listening to in the background, there is really no music playing in the background, so that is already a blatant lie. However, when she's called out for this on live stream, she said that obviously it wasn't because she's upset because people took pictures of her and were laughing at her in the background because she kept that all in. She actually didn't. I actually just went and watched. I think she assumed no one would watch both of them. Uh, so I actually did go and I watched both of them. Uh, after this reaction, I went and watched the uploaded version. She totally cut out the woman laughing at her and taking pictures of her uh, behind her and her talking about it and everything like that. She totally cut all of that out. So she is just lying. Really funny. She's really bad at this. Well, I'm famous, baby. No. <laughs> I'm famous, darling. She's so annoyed. <laughs> She's so annoyed. She t obviously took the big fucking hoof, ho ho hoofing fucking mouthful there. And now she's just like staring at the camera as intently as possible. And I don't even think she's reading the chat this time. She's probably fucking trying to look around to see if anyone's watching her behind her in the viewfinder. Uh, I didn't wear my ring because I'm going out alone. Yeah. Why? What? I didn't wear my ring because I'm going out alone. It's like, that's when like, like, you know, like married couples it's like if, if like i don't know i was married to my girlfriend for example and i took off my wedding ring before i went out of the house she's like what are you doing i was like oh, i'm going out alone so i'm taking off my wedding ring she would immediately think i am out there trying to fuck she would immediately just assume that's like that's the obvious assumption if you're going out not showing your wedding ring that doesn't make sense i want to risk it risk what so risk what i don't want to risk losing it somewhere in a what bathroom. are you talking would salah being with you somehow avoid you losing it in the bathroom with what are you talking about? What fucking LARP is that? You probably wanted to say I don't want anyone like stealing it off me because like obviously, you know, obviously someone's going to mug her, this fucking 700,000 pound woman to steal her like very fake gold ring. Oh yeah, I definitely have a risk. I'm dumb. I already lost one, so. Yeah. No thanks. It's kind of pricey. It's invaluable. It's, it's literally not. Like it's, it's pricey and valuable. It's like fake gold. It's, it's not. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, it's, it, it probably is like worth a couple hundred maybe at most because it's like a, a ring, but it's, it's not like, it's, it's not like, you, bro, I'm going to get this insured along with my house insurance. Okay, I'm almost done. <clears throat> Too much to be thankful for. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Maybe she knows who I am. I hope she's not mad. Why would the person who took a picture of you be mad? Maybe she knows who I am. No one knows who you are. That's like if I said, like, if, so, if someone fucking, like, I don't know, shouted at me in the street one day. I, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm driving. Someone shouts at me in my car or something like that because I cut them off. I don't fucking know. Who knows? And then I'm just like, mm, they must be a fan of mine. Maybe they watch my YouTube videos. Bro, like, <laughs> you, you get, like, seven to, like, 10,000 views per video. Like, that's it. You're not hot shit. They're not mad at me. I'm just trying to eat. Why? I hope they're not mad at me. I'm just trying to eat. Yeah, t tell me again how you're not self-conscious about your size or anything like that. I hope they're not mad at me. I'm just trying to eat. What reaction would that be to someone, like, taking a photograph of you in public that you assume they must be mad at you because you're eating or something? What are you talking about, you fucking methodist? For my channel. I gotta hurry, guys, because I only have limited battery. 
Oh my god. No, you don't have limited battery. You have 70 fucking percent. You said you're going to stay until you're on 30 percent. Uh, okay, Lim uh, limited battery. I need, I, need to, I need to quickly rush off here. It's weird that you're talking about rushing off again, even though you just said about the whole, oh, don't I have 68 percent? I'll stay until I've got 30 percent. Now you're talking about rushing off again when someone brings up the fucking photograph. <laughs> oh, maybe. She can film me if she wants. Yeah, she can. Like, I'm, I'm glad you're giving her permission. Yes, she can. I mean, I don't think she had bad intentions. Well, she did. Oh, look at the fucking eyes. She even... Look at her eyes. She doesn't even believe this. Oh, my God. That's so bad. She didn't even believe it when you look at her fucking eyes. Uh, yeah, she did. She was laughing at you while filming. Yeah, she... she, she are arguably had bad intentions. They probably don't see really fat people. Yes, they don't. You've already said this whole thing. Like, this guy's staring at you right now. They don't see people like you. Especially fucking, like, 700-pound fucking white woman in a bias. Yes, they do not see you. Especially when you're rocking the full fucking denim look, which is even more ridiculous than fucking usual. Bro, if this didn't bother you, you wouldn't still be talking about it. You wouldn't have brought it up twice now. And you would not be, like, trying to, like, dis discuss what you assume their motives must be and how the motives must be good. And now you're still trying to, like, rationalize it in your head. You'd be like, oh, okay. That's how most people would say things. Oh, okay. That would be it. They would move on with their life. You're still thinking about it. Well, I'm not saying that to be mean to myself. I mean that literally. <laughs> Oh, I'm look at really her, her anxiously glancing around. Anxiously glancing around constantly. Bro, just, just stop it. It's actually kind of embarrassing now. I'm in this market and I don't mind. I'm good for their business. I've always eaten quickly, but I'm eating quickly because I don't you're eating quickly because people talked about you getting photographed and people are laughing at you and people are looking at you. And now you're suddenly sped up with your eating. You're shoveling food into you. That's why. My battery went out. For Wanda, get a black coffee? Okay. Maybe I'll stop at a 7-Eleven for you. Just sit back and relax and enjoy the peace, babe, because you're always doing the running around. So just let, just let, uh, just let me do it. Tonight. <laughs> you guys, we still have so much of Thailand to discover. If you go, want to go to a place like Asia? Yeah, but you didn't fucking leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we so much of Thailand to discover. After this, nothing more. After this, we go out for fucking Sal's birthday. That's it. Chef, size is irrelevant. Thank you, Black Zillion. You speak facts. Sorry, guys. Um. Mm. Hold on. Oh, I don't want to turn the camera around. I'm so gross. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's get out of here. The thing... Oh, no! Coconut water. Hold on. The thing I feel the most bad about is everybody wants you to... Morning Glory Vegetable? Buy their things. And you can't do that. Babe, I gotta come home. I'm dirty. <laughs> like a kid. Hey there guys, after the fact that been here, I really wasn't saying very much during this because at this point in the video, it was just a lot of her just like saying the same thing over and over again. But I wanted just to keep it in just so you can see her just like smearing stuff all over herself, failing to eat green beans, failing to drink, having to use her bottle of water to try and wash herself in the middle of the restaurant. Like, I just, I just, I need it included for you. Ross, because not every night is a date night. Why can't you go out by yourself? <laughs> People act like they don't leave their boyfriend. People act, number one, like they have a boyfriend or girlfriend. Number two, that they never leave them alone. What kind of criticism is that? It is 2119 here. For both adults. Let me just. I'm so annoyed that they like, um. I also had to leave this part in as well because immediately she gets testy when someone once again questions their relationship and she immediately starts uh, start fiddling with her microphone and everything I got and getting all self conscious about it. Just had to keep this in because it just proves the point once again. That I ruined my my washed shirt already. Yeah, but so what if we're on vacation together? We spent over a month and a half straight every single day doing everything together. So, oh, thank you. <clears throat> Hold on, guys. <laughs> I'm paying the bill. Oh, this is. She's got this. Okay, she has this like weird thing, and I don't understand it like at all. Because she did this in the same time when she was paying the woman for the mango rice that I mentioned earlier on. She suddenly was, like, filming the woman's, like, 
food and the stall and everything like that. But then when she went to pay, she turned the camera around and like stuck it in her fucking like second chin so we couldn't see anything. And now she's paying the bill and she's like, oh, one second, guys, and turns it away. It's like, you're going to pay with cash, you know, because like you're in a night market, you're obviously going to be paying with cash. Um, a lot of Asian countries are very cash based nowadays, even still, they're very cash based nowadays. Like, are you worried about showing how much cash you have? Like, I, I, I don't get it because it's bad. It'll look like a big wad of cash regardless because, you know, it's, it's you know, it's, it's quite a, like a, a cheap currency for, you You know, like, I, I, I don't know. I just find this really weird. Like, why the fuck are we doing this? Like, it's, this is creepy. I don't like flashing money around. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Got you. Okay. Okay, guys. All right. Now we're going to just look around a little bit more and see what else. Uh, when, maybe we'll get one more thing. When we go on vacation, my husband goes golfing and I go shop or go to the beach. Having no time apart is, honestly, it's not healthy. You know? I smell durian. Okay, so we are done here. And I have my mango rice for Salah. And let's go see what else we can find around here. Okay, guys. Persephone, hello. Am I rich here? No. I'm not rich. For sure, I'm not rich, but... In life, there are people who are more fortunate and less fortunate than us. Yeah, but you're like pretty poor. Like, it's, I just, I don't know. Like, talking about money is just like, I think, weird in general. Like, just in, in general. Like, I, I, I get it. it's kind of like an American thing. Americans seem to talk about, uh, about money and how much money they make and like how much money they earn in the job. And all. I, 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 I get that's more of like a cultural thing over there. Canada might be similar. I'm not really 100% sure. But I don't know. I just. I wouldn't talk about it, especially when I'm on holiday. I just, I, I just find it so weird to talk about like how much you make. It's like, oh, well, we're not really rich. It's like well, you're not. Like I know you used to gloat that you just like made like twenty, thirty thousand dollars per month during like the Crackhead Olympic saga, but like obviously not anymore. Just I don't know. Just stop talking about money. Stop bringing up money. Money's obviously a massive thing because she always talks about money when talking about the reaction channels. It's the same for fucking like Amber Lynn. Same for like Boogie. They're like so obsessed with money because it's like. It is literally someone giving them as a person well, like worth. Because they, 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 they know themselves. They have little worth. They're not interesting people. They're not funny people. They're not good people. They're not, they're not attractive people. They have no other kind of worth that they can assign to themselves. So they have to assign themselves as a monetary amount of, of worth. I am worth $30,000 a month because I'm so good. And then obviously that's why you see all these like lol cars like just really peaking, getting worse and worse as the money goes down because to them, that is their worth directly going down. It's why like uh, Amber was obsessed when she lost like 11,000 people when uh, even though she had like a lot of subs. So it doesn't really make that big a difference when she said I wasn't doing mukbangs anymore. And I mean, went back to doing mukbang because her view count is also like, it's like a Boogie. When Boogie went to his like mother's crypt, he was like telling his mom, it's like, mom, 4.5 million people People are subscribed to me on YouTube, which is crazy, mental shit. Like, who gives a fuck? That is not the thing you'd be telling your dead relative, you're truly torn or what. But that is his literal worth is how many people sit there and look at his fucking videos. So this is why she has to keep bringing it up, bro. Just stop. No one thinks you're rich anymore. I'm sorry, you're not. The fact that you're like stunned and appalled and shocked that the just breezing will still make videos on you, even though she's demonetized. It, it shows how fucking broke you are because you are fucking baffled by that, that someone can do something as a hobby. <laughs> it's, it's really sad that you guys, I mean, I used to do a lot of things alone. Hi, Ghostface, when it comes to them. Arab Street, no, please. I wish Salah was here. Maybe I wish you were here. What the fuck? That was like whiplash. That was like, like kind of panning over this because we're at the end of the video and there's nothing really new happening. She's just repeating the same things like over and over and over again. So nothing really overly me. But just her suddenly like saying, oh, it's sad because like, you know, people are acting like it's weird her out doing something alone. Because she I always used to do something like literally an express like I wish Salah was here, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I I feel pathetic if like the second I got like a new relationship, they became my entire personality. Just that's it. They became my entire personality, and I had nothing else in my life apart from I am always with my husband. I think uh, so. This place closes at um, uh, it closes at twelve p.m. People are looking at me like I'm weird. But I am weird. Look at the sweat on my face. Okay. Just look at her. 
This, this is her having just got up and started moving a little bit and she is pitching sweat. Just waiting for her patana, banana pancake to be fucking made. She is pitching I sweat. Five seconds. Yes, yeah, so you must real. look at her. Oh my god, she is gross. She is like covered in grease. Oh my fuck. Yeah, hi. Hey, I don't think I can pack this. You can just carry it? Actually, I probably can. I'll put it in with the rice. That's a good point. I don't think I can do it. Well, I probably can. Thanks. Does she not have, like, a filter in her fucking brain where she, like, lets herself, like, think for, like, one second before she fucking speaks? Because it's like, I don't think I can. Wait, I can. It was, just, it, was the, it was the same breath. She didn't even need a new fucking sentence. No. Some people sweat and some people sweat. Yes, like, I noticed you sweat. It's really hot. Look at the banana. We were stared at hard. <laughs> I don't mind people staring. I say, hey, like, smile. Be nice to people. And, uh, snow cones. They have snow cones. Can you imagine anything better than being hungry and eating at an open fair like this? Uh-huh. You, you see, her finger's just covered in shit. Glancing around fucking car. Every time you hear her, her, her fucking voice, she starts glancing around. Do you know what? I think you'd enjoy us so much more if you were just back in your hotel room. And that's depressing. Like, you should be out. You should be out eating with people. You should be out eating with the locals when you're on holiday. This is just depressing. Oops. <laughs> okay. Now people are staring because I got banana. <laughs> Teardrop, thank you. That's so embarrassing. I'm gonna go home now. Look at my face. I'm so sweaty. It feels like I'm in a freaking, I am in a jungle. What the heck am I doing here? I'm hot. No. Bring Dettol wipes. <sighs> okay guys, I think I'm gonna get off of here because it's easier for me to just do my own thing. I'm just gonna walk around a little bit more, see what I can find. <laughs> my, my shirt is filthy. I don't have tissues, honey. I forgot to bring them, I'm dumb. See, when you don't come, what happens? <laughs> I'm like a kid. I have banana all over my shirt. Lol. Look. Look at her glancing, look at her constantly glancing <laughs> around. <laughs> I just wanna go home. Look at her constantly okay. glancing around. Oh. I have to go clean up somewhere. Oh my god. The eyes jittering everywhere. Out of your head, really? Okay, guys, don't be embarrassed. No, it's because you I should be embarrassed. Banana on my shirt and it looks gross. Hi. I'm so grossed out. I don't yeah. like being dirty like this either. Oh, <laughs> look at this fucking face. Look at this woman's greasy ass face and say, I don't like to be dirty like this. I haven't seen a single video of hers where she isn't covered in shit. What are you talking about? I hate that I'm messy with food. I hate it. What? Anyway, okay. Are you aware that's like something you can fix? Like, I hate that I'm messy for you. Like, yeah, you can literally just fix that. Like, what? I, I, I don't even. Does she not realize that she can just do, like fix this by like not like just shoveling food as quickly and as big a mouthful as possible into her fucking mouth every single time? Like, yeah, then you probably aren't dropping shit on yourself or spilling shit on yourself when you're oh, I'm gonna just like constantly fucking like a ravenous fucking zombie trying to rip something open. Like, bro, like you can just fix it. Just slow down a little bit like it's I, I i love her relationship with food is so insane that she doesn't even realize that she can just correct her behavior i'm not having dinner later it's like 10 here so i'm here for dinner oh someone just sneezed right in front of me i'm gonna get covid no oh, okay i'm starting to freak out my... <laughs> this was fun okay i'm glad you guys liked it it wasn't just... excuse me i didn't show you look at her she's just constantly glancing around many shops but i don't like looking at clothes shops because i'm too big for the clothes here so <laughs> if i find something i'll let you know okay so you're anxious about your weight then why would you include that bit? I don't like looking clothes shops because I, I I don't like looking at them because they don't have my size. Some look, what? Okay, bro, cool, one hundred percent. Okay, so that's just the end of the video there. Um, she just logs off. Uh, making more excuses because of her camera. Uh, it's getting low on batteries. I really really doubt that. It was on seventy percent not too long ago. Uh, yeah, it was an interesting one. It was funny seeing people like reacting there and looking at her in the background and all. Obviously, there does seem something kind of weird about it like i like realized the current salah have gone back to kuwait together and also all pretend to be happy married again however it's not a good look when she is like suddenly like i really i just really want to go out tonight oh i didn't even bring my wedding ring because i was rushing out didn't even charge my phone correctly because i was rushing out i was like why why would you need to suddenly rush out when you've like sat there for two weeks not interested in doing anything doesn't make sense whatsoever i thought i'd do this one because it's kind of like a funny one i saw floating around Give it a bit of a throwback because she's not really doing anything overly interesting right now apart from like ranting and I don't really cover a lot of her like 
rantier stuff um especially when she's like randomly talking about like an ongoing war i don't really think that's like something like it's just overly fun to talk about on my channel so i'm just not going to show that uh other people have covered it in depth though and i'm generally a wee bit late behind because i am a bit busy right now so i'm a bit slow in putting videos out on a couple of the girls so you know the, the foodie beauty drama about her like, insulting ffg and calling her names and you know um the, the whole talking about the palestine israeli conflict it's it, it's all old news before i get anything out so i'm just not going to so that's gonna be the video here have a good one guys take care of yourselves Bye bye